In this video, we're going to look into trigonometric ratios of sum and difference of two angles. So to begin with, we have sine of A plus B for all values of A and B. So these are the two angles. So first one, we are looking at sine of the sum of two angles, sine of A plus B, which is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. And the next one is sine of A minus B. Sine of A minus B is sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. Pretty simple, not very complicated. The difference is just the change of the sign. The next one is cos, cosine of A plus B. So cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. And cos of A minus B equals cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Alright, so two trigonometric ratios over. The next one, anybody's guess, is tan. Tan A plus B is tan A plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A tan B. Alright, we have another one which is tan of A minus B is equal to tan A minus tan B divided by 1 plus tan A tan B. It's just a matter of signs if you see between the sum and the difference of two angles, you know, otherwise it's pretty much the same. So it's pretty important to remember all these things by heart because you're going to be using these formulas a lot more in the coming videos which in which we're going to solve problems based on these but before we end this video, there are more formulas to remember, rather more results to remember. I'll quickly list them up down for you. So here it is. First one is sine of A plus B into sine A minus B equals sine square A minus sine square B. The same time it can also be equal to cos square b minus cos square a. So this is one of those results. And another result, I'm going to leave uh, sufficient space. Just mark it here like this. Another one is going to be cos now. Cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b is going to give you cos square a minus sine square b which is also equal to cos square b minus sine square a. Next one we've got sine of three angles a plus b plus c which is equal to sine a cos b cos C plus cos A sine B cos C plus cos A cos B sine C minus sine A sine B sine C. Well, if you'd ask me, I'd say it's not very complicated because it's quite cyclic, actually. It's logical. See, it starts off with sine A, all right? Next, you've cos B, cos C. Then sine A, next thing, it's sine B. It's covered by cos A and cos C. Next is sine C, cos A, cos B. Pretty simple. And then minus sine A, sine B, sine C. Not very complicated. And then, uh, now that we have sine of A plus B plus C, where is cos of A plus B plus C? Well, here it is, cos of A plus B plus C. What is that going to be? Let's see it here. Cos A, cos B, cos C, minus cos A, 
sin b sin c minus sin a cos b sin c and minus sin a sin b cos c well another simple thing you just have to note the pattern down how it goes starts off with cos a cos b cos c minus cos a cos b cos c and then surrounded by sin b sin c whatever is missing sin a sin c and sin a sin b that's what it is now that we have these let's also check the tan out so tan of a plus b plus c what's it gonna be here it is tan a plus tan b plus tan c minus tan a tan b tan c divided by 1 minus tan a tan b minus tan b tan c minus tan c tan a so that ends the long list of formulas that we've stocked here so if you'd ask me the important ones i'll just mark here in the red with a star so those are going to be important i'd say yeah these three or you can just take your time you know not very frequent problems based on these three well these one two three four five six seven eight well you got to be really really familiar with these so first things after finishing this video quickly memorize all these formulas not very difficult it's just a matter of signs memorize this and you'll know why when we solve problems based on all these so that ends the list of formulas and this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on these formulas Thank you.